the uh, award circuit? Oh, man, it was fun. Just, uh, you know, got to spend time with the family. Had Bill and Bobby up there with me, Coach Leach for it. Um, man, it was, it was a really humbling experience, but it was also a lot of fun, you know, going around, meeting all these new guys, um, and ju just kind of taking it all in. You're really that much of an expert when it comes to aquatic uh, sharks and fish and all that stuff. No, so whatever, I get, like, we got in kind of early. So I, I went ahead and went to the aquarium that morning. So I went, I was there for like two hours just learning because I knew I was going to end up coming back. So, yeah, I was just trying to impress everybody. <laughs> Bill and Bobby told us you're somewhat of an expert when it comes to the best places to go in Atlanta. So where, where all did you take them while you were down there? Um, I don't know. We, I think we just went to one place, Ted's Montana Grill. It was pretty good. Got, got me a good steak there. Um, we went to Roos Crest after the show. That was, you know, good as always. But, no, we, we had a good time just kind of exploring exploring downtown Atlanta. Does it feel good to be back in your own bed and not be living out of airports and hotels, basically? Oh, man, it, it was exhausting. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, I, I'm just glad to be back, be back with the guys, back to practice, get back in routine a little bit. Speaking of practice, how exciting is it to be back out there and turning your guys' full focus on Iowa State? Yeah, very good. It, it um, feels good because we had a little time off to kind of – you know, recharge a little bit, and uh, we're, we're out there with a lot of energy right now. Everybody's fired up, ready to go. Um, you know, right now we're just kind of working on ourselves, and, you know, as it go, goes on, we'll, we'll turn towards Iowa State and really own in on them. How many days did you go without throwing a football during, during the layoff? Ooh, I think it was a couple weeks. A couple weeks. So that, that, was, that was really nice. The first day I came back, it, it, uh, I was surprised myself a little bit with how good it felt. Can you tell the, the toll of being an area quarterback kind of took on you? The whole season, throwing, throwing balls every day, and 12 games. Can you kind of feel that at, at, after a full season? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, but I tell you, man, our, our strength staff and our training staff—they they did such a good job with me this year, just uh, keeping me keeping me fresh as fresh as possible. And then you know the coaches, you know, just kind of taking some of the load off uh, some of the weekdays. Not to date you and make you feel old, but with it being your last game coming up pretty soon, we're going to have to turn our attention to Cameron and Trey and Anthony and the other two guys as well. Can you just tell me a little bit about what you've seen from those three in particular throughout these first couple bowl practices and then throughout the season as well? Yeah, uh, Trey and Gordo, they've been kind of splitting the other, you know, one and two reps uh, during the fall. They've been doing a great job. And I think the biggest thing is just going, who, you know, who's going to really take control, you know, um, you know, win, win the team. And that, that's one thing I've always said is, you know, the team selects a starter. The coaches don't select it. You know, it kind of kind of works itself out. And I, I'm excited, you know, any of those guys I know can come in and do a great job. So I, I can't wait to, you know, come back and watch those guys. And on the radio last week, you talked about how excited you are to go play down there in the Alamo Bowl. It's a pretty high-profile bowl game. What are you most looking forward to about that experience? Uh, I don't know. It, it's my first ever bowl game. So I, I'm just looking forward to taking it all in. Um, it's the first game we've had that I could have – you know, people back home drive to, so I got a bunch of people coming down. Really excited to play in front of them. Um, and I, I'm just looking forward to the game. Iowa State, they, they present a lot of challenges. Very good, especially on defense. So, man, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. You expect there are more people driving to the uh, Senior Bowl right there in Alabama? Oh, yeah. No, that, that, that's going to be awesome. I, I can't wait for that. But, uh, you know, that's uh, that'll come when it comes, you know. I asked Andre the same question, just with more and more uh, potential NFL players, it seems like sitting out there the bowl game in preparation to prepare for the draft. Just what are your thoughts on that trend as a whole? Yeah, I mean, they, they can make that decision. It's something that would, that would never cross my mind. Uh, you know, you got guys, uh, you know, all around you that fight their tails off for you all year. And, um, you know, I feel like you owe it to them. You owe it to them, the coaches, the fans, to go out and give it your all one last time. You know, and it, that, that's another thing. It's your last time to ever play with these guys. I, I couldn't imagine, you know, I, I'd do anything for just, you know, one more game, one more play. Uh, so, so to forfeit that on your own choice, that, that's something I, I just couldn't imagine doing. You were on the radio, I think, uh, last week and said people kind of need to stop pouting about not playing in a New Year's Six game. Did, did you feel like that was a message that, that fans and, and maybe some of your teammates needed to hear too? Yeah, absolutely. Because, um, as I mean, if we win the Pac-12, we go to the Rose Bowl. If not, we let, you know, other people choose. So at the end of the day, we forfeited our, uh, you know, our control of our own des destiny. So we are where we are. We're going to a great bowl game uh, against a really good team. So I mean, we, we got to turn our focus to that, quit pouting, and just uh, get back to work. Have you guys seen that happen in the last few days? Or yeah, I think so. I mean, we've been bouncing around at practice. Uh, a lot of energy out there. Um, so I think we're, you know, all in, ready to go. For you in the season that you've had, and for these seniors, how important is it to? you know, give it your all, 
I know you guys will, but how important is it to just leave everything out on the field in the Salmo Bowl? Yeah, uh, we, we got a lot to play for. I think, you know, that, that win number 11 is something that, that's, that's huge in all our minds. And these seniors especially have had such an impact on the program, you know, from where it was when they got here to where it is now. And for them to end it uh, as, you know, the winningest team in school history, that's something we can all take a lot of pride in and uh, something we really, really want to do for them. So you had to spend a lot of time with uh, Kyler and Tua and, and Will. What was the most interesting thing you learned about one of those guys last week? Uh, I don't know, man. They, they were all great dudes. You know, that, that's one thing I say. You know, everybody sees these guys. You know, they're a jersey number and, you know, and, and, and a helmet. Uh, but, you know, they're guys, you know. So it was good just to catch up with them, you know, see, see what, you know, kind of compare experiences and, uh, you know, just go through all that with them. Are you much uh, enough of a football historian to uh, to be familiar with Johnny Unitas and maybe your thoughts on uh, winning that award? Yeah, no, it was a huge honor. Uh, that was one thing I, I was saying is uh, the first time I remember hearing about Johnny Unitas was when Drew Brees broke his record for most consecutive games with a touchdown pass. And that's why I was just like, you know, he's kind of the hero to all my heroes. And he was the, you know, quarterback that everybody was compared to. Uh, coming up, you know, if, if you that was always kind of the measuring stick, you know, whether you stacked up to Johnny Unitas. So to win that award, to meet his family, man, that, that, that was an incredible experience. You guys got your Papa Shot basketball game in there. Who, who's been the king of that so far? Ooh, uh, Arcanado, Arcanado, Brandon Arcanado gave it to me pretty good in that. I, th I think Kyle Sweet's saying he's undefeated. You never know. Uh, I, you know, you, you have to go check it out for yourself. I, I got no clue.